Hello and welcome to Best Binoc Reviews. My name is Jason. And today I've got something a little bit different and definitely exciting. So do stay tuned because we're going to be unboxing the ASP Micro Thermal Imaging Monocular from AGM Global Vision. And we're going to start right now. Right, so quickly before we begin, I just wanted to say a quick thanks to AGM for arranging to send me their thermal monocular to fully test and review for you guys. But as well as that, you can also see they sent along a, this really good looking cap. Now, if you are a frequent viewer of this channel, you will know that I really do like my caps and this one is a real goodie. So uh, to be honest, I wouldn't mind hanging on to it, but I've decided to pass on their generosity um, as it were and offer it up as a prize to a supporter of the BBR channel. So to have a chance of, of winning, if you'd like to win this cap, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. And then as well as that, make sure to watch the full video because I will be dropping a few hints along the way as to how you could improve your chances to walk away with this. So without further ado, good luck with this and let's get on with the unboxing. Right, so welcome to this side of the table and our first really good look at the, the box uh, from AGM. So as I said, today we're going to be looking at the ASP Micro Thermal Imaging Monocular from AGM. Now, for those of you who, as I say, it's, it's quite an exciting or something uh, pretty new. I've, I've reviewed quite a few and I've tested and used quite a few night vision devices in my time, but uh, never before have I done a, a thermal imaging, imaging review. So this for me is going to be a voyage of discovery somewhat. I mean, a lot of the sort of optics and, and the like I'll be very familiar with. But as for thermal imaging, you know, I'm pretty new to this. And so it's going to be really fun and a uh, really nice thing to do. And once again, thanks to AGM for sending it out to me. Um, for those who don't know how thermal imaging works, I mean, it's it's similar to, it's, it's basically seeing heat as opposed to seeing light energy. So every object that has a temperature of, of above absolute zero emits uh, thermal radiation or uh, thermal infrared energy and um, on, on a device like this, they have a detector on there, which is highly sensitive to uh, that thermal radiation. And it, it takes that thermal radiation through the objective lens and converts it into a viewable image on a screen. Um, that's in a nutshell, and that's um, how I understand it. Um, if you're a, a super expert on this and, and I'm saying something wrong, please feel free to comment down below. But that's pretty much in a nutshell how I understand how thermal um, imaging works pretty much in the same way as you know how you view an image just a different type of energy so yeah uh, enough chit chat there let's have a look at the box it's a nice I really do like the gray really it's sort of more purple on there on the cap but nice looking box unfortunately it's got slightly a little damaged in transit but that's nothing to to be worried about I'm pretty sure it'll be fine inside um, there's a bunch of specifications in that on the on the back of the box so as you can see, um, some things to look out for when you're choosing um, a thermal imaging device. Now, just to point out that the, one of the reasons I, I, I came across this device was um, I have a section on the BBL website about um, looking for um, low cost thermal or night, um, night vision. Although with thermal imaging, you don't actually have to use it at night. That's the one advantage over night vision. It can be used during the day. And it has um, different advantages and, and uh, that I will go over um, in this video um, in comparison to, to night vision. And maybe not in this video, but also in the review. Um, but what I'm going to say is some of the things to look out for in, in my research was um, the resolution. Now, with lower costing devices like this, the resolution is going to be a lot less than the, the really expensive devices. So I'm assuming that the TM384 ASP Micro will be a more expensive uh, thermal imager than, than this one. But as I say, for this video, the idea was to have a thermal imaging device costing under $500 or $600, um, which these easily fit into, um, and also being highly portable, you know, being a monocular. So that's definitely one thing to look out for. The refresh rate, obviously, is how quickly the, the image gets refreshes, so always important. Um, field of view or this here it comes I think with a natural one times optical magnification there we go um, but this can be multiplied either two or four times which for any sort of night vision or um, and I will stress again with thermal imaging you don't actually have to use it at night but um, I'll probably keep on saying night vision because that tends to be the time you will use it more often so when you can't actually see with your eyes you'll be you know looking out 
for anything that's giving off heat. So be that um, generally wildlife and things um, work really well, especially warm blooded ones. <laughs> It'll be interesting. I've got a fish pond or we're going to perhaps try and find some frogs at night or something like that and see how well it works. Because anything, as I said, above a temperature of absolute zero will give off um, the uh, thermal heat wave so uh or thermal energy so uh it technically it, you know you can be looking at buildings and that and and it you will be able to see an image um, and that will also obviously depend on just how sensitive the um detector is on on the actual device and then once again obviously um lower cost of devices will obviously not be as sensitive as really high um more high more expensive ones so yeah we have a built-in storage of eight gigs Really good because obviously you can record videos as well as uh, images. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, also another interesting thing, yeah, this, this comes with Wi-Fi. So you can connect it to your phone. And uh, I believe you can then view the image um, that you would see through the through the device on your phone, which would be quite nice because I'm pretty sure it has a, um, a, a tripod adapter a mount. So you'll be able to mount it to your tripod and then you could just sit it outside um, go to a more comfortable spot and see what's on your phone. Um, once again, in the review, I'll go through the details of what settings and that you can adjust on your phone. Okay, so enough looking at the box. It's a nice box. I like it. Um, let's open it up. And as I say, this is a true unboxing. And in fact, I genuinely have not opened this box. So let's go. nice packaging I do like good packaging definitely so here's the usual manual so I will obviously go through and read all of this before um, operating it or turning it on because I'm not actually I think I can turn it on it's come it comes with a, a, a an onboard lithium-ion battery so there's no adding batteries or things like that but I am assuming as usual you probably should charge it fully before using the device just to make sure that you don't damage the capacity of the battery and the like. But uh, so I'll read those instructions. So a pretty good instruction manual. Um, look, you've got 20 pages. It's all in English, which is good because sometimes you, you get a nice substantial looking book and half of it's in, you know, five different languages that you, you can't read. So it isn't that substantial at all. So there you can connect it um, to your computer. USB-C, all the usual stuff. Right, okay, so a good user manual. It also comes in a PDF, which I've seen on their website. So here we have a lens cleaning cloth. Let's have a quick look at the, the quality. Oh, it does feel nice. I'm gonna say straight off the bat, that's really nice, very fine microfiber material. So, um, Excellent. So you should be able to most certainly clean the, the outside of the device, but I would imagine that would be perfectly fine for cleaning a, a lens, an optical lens, as um, long as you do it lightly. I mean, as always, um, I would still recommend if you want to clean any sort of optical lens, um, getting a blower and a, a light brush first, not only using a, a cloth. Um, I'll put links down below of how you can properly, properly clean optical devices. So I'll find it. There's another box on the side. Let's see what we've got in here. It's probably cables, I imagine. Yep, there we go. So there we go, yeah. That's the connector for the USB. So it's one of the wide ones. I don't know if you can see over there. Um, I think it's USB-C, it's, it's called. So connect it to your computer. So there we go, our first look. It's, it's very lightweight. I was expecting something a bit more heavy than that. That's my first impression. In terms of size wise, it's pretty much what I was imagining. Um, so as you can see, this is highly portable. It'd be um, really easy to, to carry about with you. I'm not worried about that sound. I'm not sure what that's all about. Um, well, hopefully we'll won't find that it won't work or something like that. Um, I like the hand strap because you remember if you're at night carrying this around, um, you know, you're, you're, especially when you're looking at a bright image, I find you, you get very blinded. So it's just nice to be able to walk around and, you know, have not fear of, of dropping this. Um, the, so there you go. Definitely you got uh, mount that straight onto a tripod, which is really good. Um, you know, for uses like security, um, you know, even viewing games. So let's say I was, 
um, at, in front of a waterhole, you know, on safari or something like that, to be able to set this up and just see what comes down and, and uh, drinks at the waterhole at night would be super, you know, be really, really interesting. Imagine lions or something coming down and you capturing it all. Another thing, uh, just quickly to point out about this uh, mount for the tripod, I like the fact that it's metal because quite often you'll get devices that will have a, a tripod mount, whereas the threads over here are plastic that, you know, they will obviously won't be as long lasting as, as a metal mount like this. So that's a nice sign of quality straight away there. Right, okay, so as you see, it comes with a, a lens cover. Now we don't need to worry about damaging this device. So as I say, you can use thermal imaging during the day. Um, obviously, you know, that's the, that's one of the advantages of thermal imaging over night vision. I mean, you can use it in the day, but I mean, they do have um, ways of restricting the amount of light. So you can still use a, especially digital night vision during the day. Um, but the point is, is that this is actually useful, more useful during the day in that um, thermal imaging will see through things like bushes. So you could have something hide you know, behind a bush or something like that. That's warm, you know, quite, you know, more, it has a different temperature varying to the actual bush and you'd be able to see through the bush as long as it was radiating enough, radiating enough energy. So thermal imaging can have its uses during the day. As I say, it's just more useful at night when you can't use your eyes as well. So let's just quickly look under the hood over here. So this is where you're going to connect it to the computer. It does feel, um, I'm not sure if it's 100% waterproof, but that does feel very sealed. So I'll, get, um, I'll put a, 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 in the comments down below or the description, I'll, I'll add whether it's waterproof, but I imagine it's definitely weatherproof, put it that way around. Um, so that's where you connect the USB device. Um, so here we have the power on. Uh, take photos, I'm guessing, and also videos. Um, this is gonna be the mode button and here's gonna be the digital zoom. So really, what's quite good about this is the, the buttons are nicely spaced apart. Um, remember, you're gonna be blinded if you're using it at night. Um, so to be able to um, have all your fingers, a bit like a trumpet or something like that, or um, on, on the actual each of the buttons, and you just have to remember which ones are which, and you can, you can use it very quickly and easily without having to, to look what you're pressing. Now this on the right here is, I know from looking at the instructions a bit earlier on on the, on the web version, this is the um, diopter adjustment. So there you go, you can see it's actually adjusting that. So that will um, adjust the focus of, of the eyepiece onto the actual screen, just to make sure you get it nice and sharp for your particular vision. So there's actually not much to talk about in the unboxing in that it's such a simple device, which in a way is quite a good thing because, um, yeah, it's, it's um, you know, it's simple, super easy to, and simple to use, I'm hoping. Um, the, the actual lens cover, that, that, that looks like it could break away quite easily. Um, so, yeah, that's, it's quite a, a flimsy rubber, this. So that's something you definitely want to keep an eye out for. But even if it did break away, um, you would still be able to attach this and it would stay um, fixed to the outer lens. The eye cup itself, nice and soft. So, and what, I mean, it's more, not so much for the comfort, but the fact that when you put your eye over it at nighttime, especially, I think it will cover up a lot of the, the, um, the gaps on the side of your eye so that you will have less dis um, light or distracting light coming in from the sides, which I find with night vision can actually um, make the view a lot more difficult to see. So um, this really soft eye cup um, should take up a lot of the, the bends and, and that around your eye, which is really nice. As I say, this is just an unboxing video. First impressions, um, I will have the full review, um, probably depending on when you see this video. Um, uh, it, from now I'll go and test it for the next couple of weeks, get up really early, stay out, um, stay out late at night, get some video footage for you, some images, exact stuff like that, and I'll write the full review. So depending on when you come across this video, I might have already done the review, the link will be down in the description below. But as I say, yes, my first impression is good. The, the feel of the device is, is, is um, it's lightweight, but it doesn't feel too plastically. Um, this does feel like some really good quality. It feels... Um, one thing that's definitely noticeable is it's really comfortable to hold. Um, the ergonomics are excellent. It is, um, I don't know if you know, there's another brand that makes a, a similar device. Um, one of the, you know, that's probably a, a slightly bigger brand and they do look very similar. Um, so I think the, you know, the sort of design is, is tried and trusted as it were. 
Right, so there you have it. I do have that this completely unscripted and somewhat chaotic unboxing video was both of use and of interest to you. Um, as I said in the video, for the full review where I will go through much, much more detail than I can now, um, and once I've had time to fully test the product out and uh, create um, some samples for you guys to view, um, I will obviously uh, post that up on, on, on the channel as well as on the website. Um, once I have, I will also put a link down in the description below. So depending on when you come across this video, it may already be there. Um, during the actual unboxing, sorry, I forgot to mention how you could further your chances to win this beautiful cap. Um, I think the best way would be definitely to subscribe to the channel. And then on top of that, if you have any um, comments, thoughts or opinions, um, do leave them down below. I will um, pick one that's of interest, you know, or something that catches my eye. So I'll leave it there at that. Um, and I'll just say thank you very much for watching. As I say, look up for the full review that will come out in the not too distant future. So I'll see you again next time. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers for now. <laughs>